friends, it's Christy, and I'm thrilled to be back guest designing with my favorite things. Today I'm going to be making a card using the new Friends at First Sip designed by Birdie Brown, and I'll also be adding in a few images from a past Birdie Brown set called Our Story. I'm stamping my images down using MFT's Extreme Black Hybrid Ink on some Copic Friendly cardstock, and I'll be coloring with my Copic markers today. So I was super excited to see a curly haired girl in a stamp because you hardly ever see them and being a curly haired girl I just thought I would have to color her to look like me today. Actually the dog is going to look like my dog Zadie and the storefront that I'm doing is going to look like my favorite local bookstore and cafe. So I'm starting with her skin and I'm using E000, E00, and E11. I laid in my shadows first with the E11 and then I'm pulling that out with the E00 and then I'll finish off the highlighted areas with that E000. I'll use the R20 to give her some rosy cheeks and I'll color in my dog's tongue with that as well. For her hair, I'm using E23, E25, E27, and E29, and hair is the one thing that I do start lightest to darkest, and that's just because I don't like to get too heavy handed. So I'm taking that E23 and kind of laying in a blueprint of where I want my shadows to go. And I always add them wherever the hair is kind of bumped in toward her face, that way the parts that are bumped out are going to be the highlighted areas since they would be catching the most sun. Once I've worked my way all the way up to my E29, I'm going to switch and work back down in the reverse. So now I'm taking that E27 and I'm going to pull that darker shade in toward the highlighted areas. Then I'll come in with my E25 and bring those even closer together. And then I'll finish off in all those highlighted places with that E23. I'm giving her a gray and white striped dress to kind of resemble one of my favorite shirts that I love to wear around the house. I'm using C1, C3, and C5. I'm laying in my shadows on the outer edges of the dress and then pulling towards the center for the highlight. So I use the C5 first and then I'm pulling that out with the C3 and then I'll fill in what remains with the C1. For the white stripes, I'm going to use C1 as my darkest and then I'll pull those out with the C0 and let those fade off into white in the center. For her sweater, I'm using R29, R39, and R59. I'm laying in my shadows with the R59, especially around her arms where they're folded in front of her chest, and then um, they'd be casting a shadow on the area below her arms as well. I pulled that out with my R39 and then filled in everything that remained with the R29. For her purse, I'm using C5, C7, and C9 and making sure to accentuate the area at the top where it's kind of dipped in and then also the area underneath the flap. For the dog, I'm using warm grays instead of cool grays. I like to use warm grays for living things and cool grays for inanimate objects. So I'm using W5, W7, and W9. And I'm going to color her to look like a solid black dog because that's what my dog Zadie is. She is a rescue flat-coated retriever that we got from our local animal shelter several years ago. And she's an old girl. She's about 14 years old and she's not doing too good. But we're trying to keep her comfortable and just loving on her as much as possible. So I saved a little bit of area on her face for that W5 so that her eyes didn't get lost with that darker color. I used E40 and E41 to color in my to-go coffee cup and also the pages of my books. Now I'm using G21, G24, and G28 to color in my boxwoods and I'm just using the darker shades down toward the bottom right and shading up towards the top left. I use Y15 and Y26 to color in some remaining accents. And then I took a white gel pen to add a little bit of the white details on Zadie since she is an older dog. 
and then I'll use a black gel pen for the eyes of both the dog and the girl. And then I'll trim these out with the matching dies. For my background, I'm going to take the English brick wall stencil and sponge some Fired Brick Distress ink onto some Bristol Smooth Surface cardstock. And I'm going to be purposefully inconsistent with my ink coverage. I want there to be some lighter areas and some darker areas, just like brick in real life. Then I'll trim that down using the storefront from the Boutique Dynamics. And I'm going to add a little window to the back of it. So I've added some thin strips of score tape. And I've got a little piece of acetate that I'm going to cover that with. And this would be super simple to turn into a shaker card as well, but I just wanted to have a little glossy window. So now it's time to start assembling my scene. I've got a piece of snow cone cardstock that will be my sky, and some grout gray cardstock that is the sidewalk. And then I'm using sour apple for the grass, and I trim that down using the Grassy Hills Dynamics. And then the whole panel is trimmed out with the A2 Stitch Rectangle Stacks Set 2. For the little scene inside my bookstore window, I've trimmed down a piece of fun and frolic 6x6 pattern paper with that gray and white stripe so that can be my wallpaper or uh, wood paneling either way and then I'm going to hang my light from the ceiling. I'm going to add the stack of books down low so it looks like it's maybe sitting on a table or a bookshelf that is just below the window and then I will take the little mug of coffee and set that right on top of the stack of books. And I adhered everything with liquid glue so that I would be able to adjust things until it was perfectly lined up inside the window. I've added some foam tape to the back of my storefront. So I'm going to peel off the release papers from the area right around the window. And then I'll just line that up with the pattern paper and pop that down into place. So my favorite local indie bookstore and cafe has a brick exterior with a black awning. So I die cut the awning out of some black licorice cardstock and I rolled it a little bit to give it some lift. Then I'm going to add my storefront to my focal panel and glue the awning right over top. I used cement gray cardstock to die cut the sill of the door frame and then black licorice again for the door. I'm going to use some more foam tape on the back of the girl that looks like me and also the dog that looks like Zadie so that they can kind of be brought all the way to the front of the scene and it kind of pushes the store back just a little bit. And then I'm going to use regular glue on the back of the two potted plants and I have just a small piece of foam tape right behind the planter since that is just below the edge of the storefront and that's also going to pull them forward as well to have them kind of hanging down a little bit. Looks like they're set away from the store. For my sentiment I'm using another strip of grout gray cardstock to stamp out We Were Friends at First Sip in some dark brown ink and I did stamp that down twice to get a really good impression. And then before I put my Misty away, I also want to stamp on the inside of my card. And I'm using the little uh, coffee cart and the sentiment that says, you've always been there for me. I trimmed down my greeting with the essential slanted sentiment strips and I'm going to adhere it to the top of my storefront. Then I'll take my entire focal panel and adhere that to the front of my card base. And that is an A2 standard size card, so it's four and a quarter tall by five and a half wide. To finish off my card, I adhered a small cloud from the Spring Scene Builder Dynamics, and I'm also taking a small enameled dot and adding it to my door for the doorknob. So that completes our card for today. I'll give you another peek at the inside and hopefully you can see how that acetate adds a nice gloss to the window. So I hope you guys have enjoyed the December edition of Christy Gets Crafty with My Favorite Things. If you did, please be sure to give the video a thumbs up and you can leave me a comment down below. I love to read your feedback. Subscribe to My Favorite Things for more inspiring videos just like these here on screen. Bye-bye.